Today I'm feeding 1,000 flies to my poison dart frogs. If you guys didn't know, in this cup is about 10,000 flightless fruit flies. This is what my poison dart frogs eat every other day. Before we feed off these flies, let's meet the frogs. In here are some of the poison dart frogs. There's one, we have a pair in here that usually gives us babies. As soon as we can find them. As you guys can see, their enclosures literally loaded up with plants. All these are live plants, soil. They have different types of isopods and springtails in the substrate, and it's completely bioactive. So they have hundreds of places to hide in here. Here's one. So this is our first pair of dart frogs that actually has most of our babies. As you guys can see, in here are all of their babies from the past maybe month. So as you guys can see, I have tadpoles. In these cups, as you guys can see, there goes one. Another tadpole. This water is not dirty, guys. This is, we use um, regular purified water with these leaves in it that cause the this brown color so this is clean water but that the the brown water from the leaves actually helps keep away uh, bacteria and negative things from getting on these very vulnerable tadpoles but this is a second stage of their tadpoles as well up here you guys can see some bigger tadpoles that are almost morphed out and ready to come out of the water there's two These frogs are almost ready. At this point in their life, these small tadpoles are still eating fish food and algae and uh, things like that. So they're not completely ready to be on fruit flies yet. In the wild, poison dart frogs will lay their eggs inside small puddles uh, on leaves that stay moist in the rainforest. And so these tadpoles don't always have access to live food and yet they really can't eat live food yet. So they usually snack on algae uh, pebbles and but in captivity we can feed them a high protein fish food and also I have these algae wafers that I crush up and add in there too so they can eat that once they grow up they become big tadpoles like this and once they're almost morphed out then they are completely uh, terrestrial and they don't live in the water anymore so first thing we do to mimic a rainforest environment we're gonna spray out this first group of frogs and then we'll meet the second group. The second frog that we're gonna meet today is Solo because this is not an easy frog to get. So this is our green Terrabilis. He's a mint green color, and he is solo. Fun fact about these frogs is they're actually the most poisonous frogs in the wild. So this frog can truly do quick, irreversible damage, and can even cause death because of their toxic uh, poison. No, these are not venomous. They're poisonous dart frogs. So the poison secretes through their skin and on touch or contact with open flesh and sometimes even just skin in general, their, their poison that's on their skin penetrates into your skin, gets into your bloodstreams, makes you severely sick and it can even cause death in some cases. But this frog right here is one that you do not want to come in contact with in the wild, but it's completely safe in captivity because of the food that we feed them negates toxicity. All spraying water does is keeps up the humidity. In the rainforest there is constant rain, drizzle, mist. So all this does is kind of recreates that for them to keep high humidity because these frogs have skin that needs to stay moist. Our third group of frogs that we're going to meet today that are going to be eating these flies are our, our yellowback. So they're Dendrobates tinctoris yellowback. And you guys can probably tell why we call them yellow back. As you can see, they literally have a yellow back. And these are the common names for these frogs. I 
everybody gets sprayed. They actually are in a different enclosure than these. These are all front opening enclosures. They actually are in this top opening enclosure here and that's because I have a big project coming soon. I actually have their new enclosure. It's not completely ready yet. But the purpose of having front opening enclosures is literally for aesthetics. It's not at all for, it doesn't affect their ability to thrive at all in this kind of enclosure. So they're fine in here. It just kind of, for me, throws off the whole front opening enclosure theme that I have going here. But this is their other enclosure that we're working on. It's right here. So don't mind the background. I'm ripping it out completely. I actually have another enclosure here that's getting revamped for our project. So a lot of things coming to the frog room. As always, if you guys follow this channel, you know that I'm always doing something to make my enclosures better and to become a better keeper. So like I said, if you guys have keep frogs and you have any advice, please drop it down in the comments. I reply to every comment. So make sure that you guys are staying involved and staying interactive with me. I'm always taking advice and I'm always willing to listen. So if you see anything here that's not the best or it could be better or you can give me something that even make my job easier, let me know in the comments and I will respond back to you guys. So now that we've been through two, four, five frogs, we have two more frogs that are gonna be eating today in this video, and let's show you guys them. These ones are a lot more sneaky. They're not as easy to find, so let me try to go through here. Here they go. These are the bumblebee poison dart frogs. As you guys can see, we have two bumblebee poison dart frogs. These are my smallest of my adult frogs. They stay the smallest. They're a different locality than the other ones that I have, so they, their whole species in general stays a little smaller than the other ones. But they're gonna be eating as well. That is a almost completely adult pair i haven't had any babies from them yet but soon i think that they're gonna lay i haven't heard any calling but i'm sure it's a male and a female so gonna stay super excited and super ready as always for frog babies from them now guys the moment we've been waiting for here i have about 10,000 fruit flies as you guys can probably see this cup is quite literally And this is what they're gonna be eating today. So we're gonna feed this off to our flies. First thing we do is get our clean cup, our calcium cup. And we're gonna tap some of these flies out into a cup. Quickly close it before the flies come out. And guys, look at this. Inside of that is like a thousand flies, and this is what we're gonna feed to our frogs. We always dust calcium. We get them all in that corner, and these flies are going to be food. So back to our first enclosure. Let's see if we can get these frogs to wake up with some food. Now that they've been overrun with fruit flies, now they're gonna be good on food for the next two days. They are gonna forage these flies for the next couple of days. Some are gonna get away, 
Some are gonna hide and then throughout the night and the next couple of days, they're gonna be able to eat these flies whenever they see them. So they're gonna catch most of them now and a lot of them are gonna escape into the live plants as they would in the wild. And they're gonna just sit up in the canopy and then when the frogs catch them, they're gonna find them and eat them. That's the first group. Four, three more enclosures to go in order to feed all these thousands of flies off. It's crazy to watch them eat because they're not like the typical what you see in the movies, the red-eyed tree frogs who usually have a longer tongue and they'll stick out their tongue more. These poison dart frogs have a shorter tongue, but they kind of pounce on their prey. They're like, I, they're like, really, they're more sneaky and they're kind of like the sneak attack predator and they're quick. They don't use that tongue to really reach out as far and grab prey from across across the across the way they are typically gonna just pounce on it grab it and kind of just go in a frenzy as quick as possible so it's also really cool to see the difference between different frogs and what is typically the norm when you think of a frog eating you think of that long tongue coming out and sticking on to prey and bringing it back but that's not so typical with poison dart frogs all right so we have about 300 flies left between these two enclosures, I'd say they probably have like maybe a hundred flies or I'd say about 200 flies each, uh, just a rough estimate. Now we're going to probably do about 200 more in this enclosure down here. They're not open at all to like eating on camera or even eating in front of me. I usually have to sneak in here to catch them. So we probably won't see them eat, but last but not least, the rest of these flies are going to our pair of small but mighty bumblebee dart frogs. They literally eat just as much as the big ones and they eat faster in my opinion. These ones completely destroy food and they aren't shy when it comes to food. They're just shy when it comes to like initial contact. But if we wait here and they notice these flies are out, they're gonna come flying in. And that's just about how quickly I can get my frogs to eat a thousand flies with only four groups of frogs. These frogs are literally going to eat thousands of flies a day, hundreds of thousands of flies a month. They, they literally just eat all day. They literally eat and reproduce, eat and reproduce, eat and reproduce. That's all they do. That's all they are. Honestly, quite honestly, that's all they're made to do. They just eat and reproduce. They don't really do much and they live up in the canopy or they live on the ground and they just eat and reproduce all day, every day. I think it's crazy. Literally one of these cups of fruit flies is gone for me within two weeks. So, and mind you, the, fr the flies are reproducing in here. So I have to keep up with the demand of a thousand flies every other day or about 800 to 1,000 flies every other day, just in these couple of groups. Imagine when I get more. So make sure you guys stay tuned. If you like videos like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm posting like this twice a week, different videos, frogs, snakes, lizards, travel. Let me know what you guys wanna see. Super excited. Thanks for being here. See you guys next time. Peace.